Good timing. Will you go to Kikuchiba with me? Yeah, sure. Why Kikuchiba? I thought we could go somewhere to talk like when we went to Mizuhagawa. We won't need lunch. I just want to talk. Oh, got it. No lunch, huh? I guess that was too much last time. Let's go to the roof of that building. I want to talk somewhere I can see the sky. Got it. There are a lot of others here, like always. They'll be easy for us if we work together. Let's go. Here we go! go. Come on, this is pretty rare. Hey, do you remember when we came here together before? A lot has happened since then. Before? When was that? You don't remember? You asked me if there was anyone I liked out of the blue. You know, when we went looking for Captain Seto's fountain pen. You said you were doing a background check. Oh, that. Back then, I had no idea that we'd get caught up in something that involved the whole world. Not just us, but everyone around us, too. It's nothing we could have expected. You're right. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Two large groups of others were confirmed near you. There are a lot of them. More than you usually see around there. It shouldn't be a problem for you two, but be careful. So, how should we go about this? Let's split up. We can work more efficiently that way. All right, I'll go this way. I'll contact you when I've cleaned most of them up. I'm counting on you. <sighs> Wataru wasn't joking. That sure is a lot. I hope Kasane is okay. Oh. There's more of them than I thought. How are things with you, Yuito? Kasane? What's going on? Wataru, what's the situation? Damn, I can't get through. Is the network down? I can't even use SAS. Calm down. It's all right. I can do this. It's so quiet. I can't hear anyone. It's like I'm really alone. No, this is what normal really is. Here we go. I was so used to always being connected to someone through SAS. If I lose my power and go back to being a dud, it will always be like this. It's strange, though. I'm not as scared as I thought I would be. I thought I would feel more lonely. Is it because I'm stronger? <laughs> Probably not. I can feel it in my bones that Kasane is fighting somewhere. Even by herself. I know she won't give any ground. So I can't just die here. Okay, battle's over.
Yes, still down? We almost got it. We can finish this if we attack together. Let's do this! was a close one. It was? I wasn't really all that worried. I assumed you would act when you did. <laughs> I was nervous. I guess we can work together even without SAS. I don't think I could have pulled it off with someone else. Thank you for getting the timing right. <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you. You're always so harsh. Am I? Well, whatever. Let's make our way to the top. We can see the moon from here. It's beautiful. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? When the fighting is over, what do you plan to do? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. 
I want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power, or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. I won't let what happened to Nagi happen to anyone else. That's the least I can do for him. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time, but I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud, that's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment, but if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. I mean, it will be inconvenient, but you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. So I'll be alright. That's good. When we first met, I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think you really can change the world. <sighs> Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet, but I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon? I thought I understood the first time I heard about it. But the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me, and you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. As you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother, and the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kinda like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere. Even going beyond the sky. <laughs> I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No. I know you can. Thank you. So, it looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path, and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me sad. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. 
We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us. Though, listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long, I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. Oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose. There's a lot that I wish hadn't happened, but I'm grateful I met you, Yuito. <laughs> well, I am your Baki, after all. <laughs> I did say that. I think of you now as a comrade. We'd understand each other even if we were far apart. At least I think we would. Yuito, thank you for being a part of my life. I want to thank you, too. I'm the way I am now because I met you. I'm a little embarrassed I just said that. Hey, Yuito. Want to take a walk around Suo with me? Okay. I was just looking to blow off some steam. Great! Let's go then. I mean, I wouldn't say we've reached peace yet, but it's still relaxing to walk around this city. Yeah, I really like Suo. It calms me down when I'm stressed. Me too. I hope we can truly attain peace one day. In our next story, information has been uncovered regarding the inhumane experiments conducted at the OSF hospital. That news. OSF hospital chairman Yanagi Ichijo had denied any involvement. But among the leaked data provided by a whistleblower included documents signed by Mr. Ichijo himself. It's unlikely that the 10 members implicated in these accusations, including Mr. Ichijo, will be able to avoid any fallout. It seems like the researcher we saved came through. Yeah, the Ichijo family name could be ruined now, but that's better than thriving through evil deeds. How is your family doing? Have your parents experienced any blowback? No, I contacted them but they really didn't know anything about it. They were actually worried for me that the OSF might try something. I'm glad they're okay. Yeah, I'm so relieved because for a second I was worried they could be involved. Maybe I'll go visit them soon. What was that sound? It sounded like a crash. Let's go check it out. Over there! An accident! A traffic accident? That's unusual. Excuse me, do you know what happened here? It seems like the car's auto-drive program malfunctioned. The rescue team hasn't shown up yet. Are you with the OSF? I guess that means you can't really do anything. <sighs> Let's get a closer look. Yeah, there might be something we can do. trapped inside there's smoke coming from the engine the kid could be in danger unless we get him out we don't have time to wait for the rescue team let's do what we can help just hold on a little longer for us we're going to get you out of there soon <sighs> it's locked can you remove the door with your psychokinesis i could but i might accidentally hurt the kid if i try to force it open if only there was a way we could open it more gently. Okay, I'll try then. What are you going to do? I'm going to use my pyrokinesis to see if I can melt one of the parts inside of the door. That should make it come off easier. Okay, do it. Am I going to die? 
Don't worry. We're going to save you. Trust me. Can you back away from the door for me? Okay. <sighs> Yuito, you're up. Got it. Here we go. <clears throat> Good job. Your mom is waiting for you. Mom! Thank you so much. I really can't thank you enough. Please, you don't need to thank us. I'm glad your son is safe. Um, thank you for saving me. Hey, I saw what happened. The OSF sure is amazing. Let's hear it for the Scarlet Guardians. What? When did this crowd gather? Everyone, please step back. It's still dangerous. The rescue team just arrived. I think we can leave the rest to them. As much as I want to see this through to the end, we should leave before the crow show up and get in the way. Whew. You were really cool. You acted so decisively, even when that was our first time dealing with an accident. What? No, I didn't. I was just desperately trying to save that boy. Well, I still think that's cool. Thanks. I think I figured out what I want to do. You finally got your answer? Yeah. I had an idea, but today really solidified it. I want to protect what I love, though I don't mean someone specific. I love this city and the people who live here, and I want to protect all of them. I don't want any of them to suffer. <laughs> I agree. I'm done with all this sadness that keeps happening. That's why I want to change the OSF first, so that what my uncle did will never happen again. I mean, they call us the Scarlet Guardians, we need to live up to our name. Guardians? Just like you were back there. T don't tease. But you might be right. Protecting people doesn't just mean fighting. I mean, even if we get rid of all the others in the world someday, accidents like that will still happen. Get rid of them all? I never thought that far ahead before, but you're right. In other words, our fighting ends when we defeat all our enemies. But protecting people is a job that will never end. Wow. I'm so impressed that you'd think so far ahead. I'm proud to be your childhood friend. <laughs> I mean, it might be a big endeavor, but I plan to start little by little. Besides, I only started thinking about these kinds of things because of you. I didn't have any ideals up until now. Seeing you run ahead, I wanted to catch up and run beside you. Then I finally found the path I was looking for. <laughs> what? I never thought for a second I was running ahead of you. Since I came in as a volunteer soldier, I've always been frantically trying to catch up to you. <laughs> then I guess we both helped each other grow. Let's go with that. Both of us will keep moving forward. Yes. This is the all-important first step, after all. Yuito? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to tell you when I feel like I finally caught up to you. What's that? It's a secret until the time comes. A secret? I don't really understand, but okay. I'll wait. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait up! Oh, she's already gone. That's so Hanabi. Are you going somewhere, Shiden? Yeah, I'm going to see the thunderclouds. Thunderclouds? Is there a storm coming in? Is it safe to be outside? 
Apparently these are the biggest in decades. This is a chance to see real lightning. It's a little dangerous, but I can't pass it up. Wow. Now that I think of it, I've only ever seen images of real lightning. Oh, I don't mind if you tag along, if you're interested. Sounds fun. I'll take you up on that. All right, then get ready. We'll miss the thunderclouds if we take too long. I've never seen him this excited. See those big black clouds over there? Those are thunderclouds. Wow, cool. The clouds look like mountains. So the lightning will come from there? The forecast said it should be soon. I wonder what kind of lightning it'll be. You really like lightning, don't you? Is it because of your power? Yeah. It feels familiar. And it might give me a clue for using my power. I also love the remote and powerful image of lightning. I'd like to be like that. Remote and powerful. That does sound like him. Oh! A lightning strike! Did you see that? Yeah, that's crazy. I just kind of tagged along, but this is way better than I expected. Whoa, that was close. I saw it so clearly. Hey, Shiden, lightning is really cool. Damn right. <laughs> what did you expect? Why do you sound so proud? It's so beautiful. That powerful light. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Clouds are breaking up. It's over. Ah, that was awesome. It was. You seem down. Are you sad that it's gone? Yeah. But it got me thinking, too. Compared to that awesome force, my power is nothing. Well, you're up against a natural phenomenon. Of course a human can't stand up to that. I know that. It's not just lightning even compared to other people. I'm weak. I wanted to be as strong as Captain Seto someday. I thought if I worked hard, I could be a Septentrion. I worked for years like that, but I still have no title. I'm still just... Shiden. I know that I'm stronger than I was before, but maybe this is as strong as I'm going to get. That's not like you. Is earning the title of Septentrion that important? Of course it is. It's the OSF's proof of strength. If I have it, no one can say I'm not good enough. I don't disagree that the Septentrions are amazing, but there are powerful people like Arashi that don't have any special titles. You're strong too. I think so, and so does everybody else. Isn't that enough? I want more solid proof of my strength so that everyone has to accept it. The reason everyone appreciated Captain Seto wasn't just because of his strength in battle. He was able to move people. He encouraged them and made them brave. He had strengths that I don't have. My plan was to use this mask once I thought I had reached his level. But if that day won't come, then maybe I shouldn't have it. Don't say that. Captain Seto had it made just for you. He had this mask made because he thought I would become strong like him. As long as I can't meet those expectations, I can't wear it. Don't be stupid. That's not Captain Seto's mask. It's your mask. So you have to use it. You don't have to be like him. What? I look up to him too, but his strength is different from ours, just like you said. And it's fine that it's different. Each of us are strong in our own ways. Strong in my own way. Pretty wise words for a rookie. I was being a little arrogant, but you know what I mean. In his message, Captain Seto did say that I should trust my own strength. He knew even back then what I was lacking. Looks like I've been worrying about the wrong things. Lightning's beauty isn't meant to be compared to anyone else. 
and it doesn't exist to receive a title. It just exists, and it's known throughout the world. That's the strength I need. You look like you feel better. <laughs> I wasn't feeling bad in the first place. I was just a little confused, but not anymore. That mask suits you. Of course it does. It was made for me. I guess I should thank you. I won't say this is thanks to you, but if we hadn't talked, my mind wouldn't have changed. Well, you're welcome. If you keep this up, it won't be long before you're a Septentrion. No, I don't need some worn-out title like Septentrion anymore. I want to be more. The best of the best. A title from someone else wouldn't suit me. My name itself will be synonymous with strength. So the highest title in the OSF will be Shiden? <laughs> I don't think anyone would want that. That's fine. That strength is only for me to achieve. I don't think that's quite right either, but I get the gist of it. Then I'll do my best to be the strongest Yuito. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a title that's far from your reach. You have a lot of work to do. Hey, don't overdo it. Yeah. Thanks, Shiden. That was awfully straightforward. Listen, I'm not being friendly with you. It's just that keeping yourself in good condition... What are you doing? I hate when you make that stupid face. It's good being able to push each other to greater heights. I I'm not necessarily talking about us, though. Yeah, yeah. But I'm hoping our relationship is like that. Bad. Everyone, will you listen to me for a minute? Huh? What's wrong, Gemma? Why are you shouting? Sorry, but while everyone is here at the hideout, I have something to say. It must be important if it makes you look that serious. Come on, everyone. Listen to him. Gemma always looks like that, though. Don't worry about how I look. I'd like to reprimand Arashi for her violation. Oh, I have something to say, too. Don't leave your stuff in my personal space. By personal space, do you mean what we agreed about when we merged Yuito and Kasane platoons? The agreement was to have everyone keep their belongings in their own space, right? Arashi, your stuff is all over the place. Your personal space seems to be growing. Yeah, it's three centimeters bigger than it was yesterday. 
Is that really a big deal, Shiden? What's that supposed to mean? It's not like we drew lines on the floor or something. There was never any rule about not expanding your space. That's unfair, Arashi. This hideout is for everyone, so we have to use it fairly. Then let's make a new rule. Hmm. How about we have a contest? And if you win, I'll give the space back. If I win, I get half of the loser space. Even though you took your extra space unfairly? That doesn't sound right. What kind of contest? You mean with our powers? No, how about a game instead? I just stumbled across a good one. Wait, what? That's Final Jockey. That game was really popular in the OSF a long time ago. Hey, I made a name for myself as a genius jockey in Suo. You're sure about what you just said? Of course I am. All right, I'll be taking Arashi's face then. Don't come crying to me when you fall off your horse. No, it, it can't be. Me, the undefeated jockey genius Kagero, lost? But Arashi, you cheated. You used hypervelocity to push the button faster. Hey, that's just strategy. No one said you couldn't use your powers. But just pushing the button fast drains stamina and you'll lose. Ha, I got it. You glitched the game by pressing the buttons fast. Ugh, you play dirty. <laughs> Say what you will, scrubs. If you don't like it, you can come face the true king of this unit. Me, with all the powers you have. Then... How about facing me? I want more room for another planter. And I feel bad for Kagero. Oh, me too! I want more space for my Baki collection. I'll pass. I don't understand all that pew-pew stuff. I'll sit out too. This is all so ridiculous. I'll just move Arashi's stuff with my psychokinesis. I'll settle for watching as well. I enjoy physical exercise much more than virtual contests. Okay, all right. The Fraser twins are in it to win it! Now I'm involved in this? Let's just have a fair game. How many people can play at once? I'll join if there's room for me. This looks like fun. I want to play with everyone, too. I want to play, too. Just hold on a second. Let me get my lucky bandana, then I'll pray. Okay, now my lucky power is fully charged. I'll take you all on at once, then. Let the games begin. The Great Unit Space Cup has begun. Kagero and Luca here, bringing you coverage live. Wait, me? And the horses are out of the gates. Arashi is so fast. That hypervelocity is pushing it as fast as any pro. First things first, we have to stop Arashi. Wait, it looks like Yuito locked Arashi's buttons with his psychokinesis. You've got a lot of guts going against me like that. What? That great item I just got was completely wasted. Arashi's playing dirty as expected. She used hypervelocity to push buttons on Yuito's controller. Meanwhile, my angel Sugumi's horse seems to have stopped? I didn't realize my horse's stamina was running out. Oh, I made the same mistake. I was furiously trying to push the button as fast as I could. I guess the glitch doesn't occur when you rapidly push buttons without hypervelocity. Also, Sugumi and Hanabi's powers aren't suited for video games, putting them at a disadvantage. Huh. They can just use their natural ability then. Oh, Shiden is creeping up on Arashi while she tries slowing down Yuito. Take a banana peel! Huh? Shiden's character suddenly stopped moving. What? What's happening? Move! Move! Sheedon must have accidentally let an electrical surge through to the controller. It's broken. I see. Makes sense considering how careless he is. What did you say, Kagero? Oh, the Fraser twins are throwing items at each other. They both look very angry. What are those two doing? Maybe they're having a telepathic argument. I see. There's no telling what they're saying, but it seems very serious. 
That's right. Haruka is totally evil. Oh, shut up. You're the one that said I sucked just because I messed up the controls a little. I didn't even want to play this stupid game, but you had to get me involved with your telepathy. Uh, back to the race. It seems like Arashi and Major Kyoka are still in it. They are very far apart, though, at this rate. What's this? Did a secret invulnerability carrot just appear? Kyoka used it! Huh? My horse is glowing after getting that carrot thing. Major, dash! Bump into Arashi! Huh? What? What's going on? Wow. Kyoka's horse flung Arashi's horse away. Then I'll be taking this unit space. I'll be splitting it up amongst everyone evenly. That's an end to this violation thing. No more arguing, got it? Hey, let's do it again, but with no powers. This game is really fun. Come on, Luca, you too. Me? Well, I guess I could give it a try. <laughs> Everyone's having a blast. That game may be old, but it sure has value. Yeah. Recreation is important, after all. You're really good at games, Arashi. I doubt I could beat you even if you didn't use your power. Yeah, but she lost to a novice gamer like Kyoka. Wait, so Kasane, you saw right through it? Huh? What do you mean? Arashi, Kyoka, and Gemma were in cahoots. Sorry. We now have different groups joining together to fight, which can be awkward. Kyoka also said it'd be a good opportunity to get used to each other. Gemma and I have caused problems before, so we wanted to help everyone get along to make up for it. That's why Arashi risked being the target for revenge. We figured the group would cooperate against a common enemy. It wasn't that big of a deal. If everyone works well together, then I can slack off even more. So, you laid your stuff out all over on purpose? No, she's been messy since before we hooked up with your platoon. Kagero seemed to have noticed our ploy too. Yeah, he joined the game right away. He's in a neutral position and is pretty clever. I guess mission accomplished then. Everyone had a blast. I did too. Right? Even I was having fun after noticing it was all set up. Yes, it was fun just watching. Yeah, it was almost like a family reunion or something. How about another round? With Kasane and Gemma playing this time? I'm actually feeling up to it today. I guess I'll give in just this once. How about it, Kasane? Okay, but I'll be taking the win. Maybe I'll talk to Arshi for a change. <laughs>